what's going on guys casual savage here and in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create a drone transition like rice gum so for this you're going to need the software google earth pro and when you open it this is how it will probably look and if we zoom in a few inches later you're going to be able to see all the titles of the different places of course that's what we don't want so make sure you have your sidebar opened so you can press this button here to open the sidebar or you can come to view and select sidebar from there where it says layers uncheck everything here so from there the next thing is find a place that you want to do this effect so you can come up here to the search and you can search for a specific place now the one you saw in the example I used Beverly Hills so there you go we can see here is Beverly Hills now the only thing is we have this here and of course we don't want that either so over here to the side press this X down here to clear that search and as you can see it's going to be removed now we also need to hide the sidebar again because we no longer need it and now we're going to simply be taking a photo so use your mouse wheel to zoom in or out i'm going to stay about here and then you come up to file save as and save image now this is what it should look like and where it says map options uncheck everything here from there change your resolution to either 4k if you want to if you need to 1920 by 1080 or 1280 by 720 i'm going to go 1920 by 1080 from there once you're happy with the position just select save image i'm going to call this number one i'm then going to zoom into somewhere else so i'm going to just zoom in here from this position and i'm then going to select save image again and i'm going to call this one number two and that's all you need so now head over to vegas pro 14 and here is image one and here is image two so it's pretty simple to do um let's keep this on screen for three seconds so you can see right there is three seconds i'm going to trim this down and i'm also going to make the other one three seconds as well then what i'm going to be doing is zooming into this left clip while it is selected and i'm going to go back four keyframes so you can press these buttons here or press the left arrows on your keyboard one two three four and then press s on your keyboard to split and then same for the right side here. We're gonna go across four to the right. So one, two, three, four, S on my keyboard. Now from there, we're gonna be working with this, these two here. So the first one on the left, we're gonna open up the event pan and crop. Make sure sync cursor is checked. From the very first frame, you can leave it the same, but then come across to the end and simply zoom in a little bit like that. You can X out of that, come across to the next one, come to the event pan and crop. And then all we're gonna be doing now is coming across to the end here and zooming in a bit more here as well. Then this last frame we have here, right click it, select copy, X out of this, come to this last clip here, first frame, right click and paste it in. So this is now what we have, like that, it zooms in. So let's make it look a bit better. Come over to your video effects and head over to radial blur and add on intent fixed radius. Drag and drop it onto the first one we split here then we're going to go to strength and we're going to select the animation button and we're going to come across to the end and move this keyframe to the end here and then for the first keyframe we're going to set the strength to zero now we're going to be doing the opposite so we're going to drag that onto the next clip we're going to set the strength as it is select the animation button and then come across to the end and set that strength to zero and x out of that so now this is what we have you can see like that it makes it look a lot more better and playing it through in frames that's how it looks so of course the next thing is adding clouds you can just use a simple picture like i have right here except this time you want to trim it to the part where you're going to zoom in and you want to fade it out so this is how the cloud looks and of course we want it moving so it looks a bit more realistic so i'm just going to drag it off to the side and i'm going to come to the end here and I'm going to drag it towards the middle like that and then this is what I've done like that and of course we can right click duplicate oh, right click and duplicate right click duplicate so we have three clouds and we can do the same again except maybe starting over here and then finishing off over there and then the final one we can put it towards the bottom and we can finish that off along the bottom as well. So then this is what I've simply just done quickly. Of course, you can spend a lot more time. It's just like that though. And we can also lower the opacity. So highlight all the tracks by holding shift 
and use your mouse wheel and change the opacity right from here. So I'm going to stay with 70 and then this is what we have just done. Pretty simple. And now the final one where you zoom into the location and then appear in the video, again, it's the exact same steps we've just done, just one little bit of a difference. So for this one, instead of an image, we're going to go to a video, which is where Nick Crompton's colors stay popping, which doesn't look like it right there. Yeah, so this left clip here, we're going to go back five or four frames. So one, two, three, four, S on your keyboard. Then for the video here, we're going to go across four frames. One, two, three, four, S on the keyboard again. Now back to this one here, and we're going to come to the event panel crop. We're then going to come across the end and we're going to zoom in like this. So for this one, it's a little bit different because we are now, I guess, at location. Uh, we're not going to be zooming in. So we're going to come to the event pan and crop. We're going to start off zoomed in. So start off right there. And then we'll come to the end frame, right click and restore. So this is what we've just done. To play in through slow, it zooms in, but it zooms out at the same time. Of course, adding on the radial blur. So this time, um, it stays strong at the end frame. The first frame, the strength is zero. And then intense on the next one. The strength is going to be high in the first frame. And then the end frame, it will be zero. So then playing it through. That's how it'll look. Then basically, we got onto the set of everyday bro just like that. So we got the clouds. We zoom a bit closer. And then 